What happens to an F-18 when you drop it from the edge of space? We have done this with two other planes so far. The Cessna has handled it the best, so let's see what happens with the F-18. There is basically no purchase on the air up here. We can get it to move a little bit, which is kind of surprising to me. The flaps are at 40 degrees, even though I haven't asked them to be anywhere, which is kind of strange. I think the plane is trying to save itself, probably. Yeah, it's doing this by itself. I'm not doing any of this. I think as we're approaching a thousand knots, we're going to oh, feed a little bit of flaps into this thing, see if we can get it to slow down a little bit. There's the altimeter working. We're just going to let this guy go for a minute and see if we can actually get it to slow down. We're approaching its maximum flight ceiling. There it goes, 45,000. We're going to try and bring her up just a little bit. Bring the speed brakes down. Very nice. This plane handled it well, but I don't think, honestly, it did any better than the Cessna. I basically had no control over this until we hit its flight ceiling. Which do you think did better, the F-18 or the Cessna? 